Hi there, sign of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours. I hope all you all are doing really good. Um, this is for Taurus. Next 48 hour general read on Inner Spirit Guides, Angels, Higher Self, Higher Power. I am still offering readings for donations. Look at the box below if you're interested in that. And thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, subscribes. I do, do appreciate all of you. So let's get started with archetype deck first. We're going to grab two of these energies, two or three, and then um, go into the Osho Zen Tarot. So some of the cards, the Major Arcana look a little bit different, but it's a really good deck. So let's get this started for Taurus. Let's get a couple energies, please. Okay, I'm feeling 30. All right, the first one that we have is the womb. This could be literally like dealing with a pregnancy as it looks like right there, but but please don't think that's everybody <laughs> or don't feel like that's applying to everyone because the actual meaning in the book says to try to take this card, the womb, and remember what was born before you were born and then remember that there was something born before that and what is the thing that comes before anything else that's what it's asking you to draw attention to the forest and the forest can't get found if you don't get lost first the forest the forest is that shadowy area in our life that we choose to go down and explore because really the shadows represent the unknown we don't know what is there nothing's really good nor bad there are all these experiences and we have an extreme levels of emotions towards them but but really it's all worth um, experiencing and actually some of the the best things in life are the surprises and the twists and the turns in fact that's what most people like, especially if you're going to a movie. Imagine what kind of movies do you like? Do you like the ones you can predict? Or do you like the movies that, you know, you're able to have like a, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I like that one. Um, the mask. There's the mask. And I guess, you know what, Taurus, you all might not like as many twists and turns as some other people because you are very earth, <laughs> earthed, grounded. Um, I think you like excitement, but I would think that too much change may bother you a little bit. So, all right, then we have the mask. This card comes off to me a few different ways. We're actually going to have to see until we draw the rest of the cards, you know, to find out what it really means to me in this um, reading. The colors are all kind of similar, so that's great. Um, I, f I feel like for some of you, th this is the beginning, the creation of you finding who you are and removing the mask. So removing the false you that could be the you that had other people's expectations plastered in on the blueprint of how you looked how you did things and um so that of course wouldn't be you right so some of you it's that journey maybe the journey of trying to figure out how to tame your ego um the mask also is it's interconnected with the queen of wands to me um because of the mask that she wears um, to, you know, the mask that she wears when she's out. So, because she's not really, she's not fake or anything. She just has um, special skills, special talents. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. She's very bold, um, willing to do what it needs to, what needs to be done for the greater good, sharing spiritual gifts, appearing very attractive. You know, sometimes we don on a mask for our public persona, which is as little as let me wear my lipstick to let me get all completely dressed up just to go out you know what i'm saying so those aren't bad those aren't bad those are personas it's our character oh yeah i heard a quote about character recently it's um and it's an old quote though it says don't be worried about your reputation because that's what others think be worried about your character instead 
and I, I hope I got it right because I probably didn't, but it is, the main words are completely right. <laughs> All right, let's do a Celtic cross for Taurus. What's the issue for Taurus? What's the issue? Oh man, I hate it when I do that to the cards. I get stressed. Stressed out? Why are you stressed out? Seven of Wands. Maybe somebody's accusing you of something. Maybe you feel like something's an accusatory way of going about things. You know what I'm saying? The blame game. Maybe this is um, really having to juggle a whole lot because at the same time, you're having to put your defenses up. So it's a lot to juggle. It may be talking about your feelings and emotions, but it also looks like here, like somebody's always trying to burst your bubble <laughs> with that monkey. And let you look at that card. So it looks like this person's doing things with, well, it takes three legs, three arms. So you're doing a whole lot at one time and you're getting stressed. And, and in between that, this there's nonsense going on too in the background in between all that. All right, what's the challenge for Taurus? What's the challenge? This new adventure, and I feel like this is the root. The new adventure um, card, this is about Page of Pentacle energy. It's, um, you see it's a child going down a path and it has all of these rainbow colors there. Same colors, by the way, as your other, you know what I mean? As your other cards, so that's cool. But um, yeah, the Page of Pentacles is this new adventure. It usually has to do with finances. It usually has to do with investments or things that will pay off in the future, like, um, you know, job opportunities. Um, if you're looking for romance, if this isn't a romance one to you, then <clears throat> it may be like news or a message from somebody that uh, is going to be the new adventure for you. It would be really stable. It's a good thing. At the base or at the root of this, getting to this, I feel like this is getting to the new adventure. Sometimes I feel like it's an offer. I feel like it's part of it. It's part of the process that gets you to an even greater place here. So we have the turtle. We have him going really slow. <clears throat> it says slowing down. I don't know if it's slowing down as much as it is. It's just slow and steady. So there's progress, though. There's progress here, and an overnight success tends to leave the same way. So, this is what you want. You got a lot of your own energy in here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, Earth energy. It's in the past. Okay, we had the Rebel, but it's in a reverse in the past. So, in the past, there's a really big pull for you to do things the conditioned way or a conditional way. And, and part of that is because of what I was saying in the beginning about liking things not to change too much so if you're getting conditioned to believe and and do things and behave a certain way since you're really little then you know being a Taurus that might stick with you and might be hard to break the change chains from um things that you just have always thought or known to be the right things so you may have felt kind of uh, frustrated at times doing things that you new but you didn't want to rock the boat kind of energy all right what is the um present energy here what's the present energy the three of wands in the reverse actually a really good card okay there's a little bit more at this time that you could be experiencing and i think you do know that um but this is why this card's so great is because it indicates something that you really just don't know of that you don't look at the color schemes the same again um something that you don't know is coming is coming in is coming in so i like this card up or down it's always one of my favorites so is four pentacles um not in the reverse actually four pentacles but so near future near future Oh, wow. Okay, we have success. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and it says flowering, flowering, flowering. This person's very abundant. We have the auspicious symbol, uh, symbol of the lily there. Um, yeah, just really, um, really happy. 
she receives. That's how her hands are like this. She's like, come on, I'm open to receiving. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles receives is money and able to live this really cushy, luxurious, lucky almost lifestyle. But it's not luck. It's um, experience and the way... Um, the way that she looks at things and truly is a Taurus card because likes the finer things in life, like stability, being grounded, not having to worry too much. A Taurus that's pressured and worry is not a good thing. Six of Wands, success. So this is good. This is people raising you, raising you up. You're walking on top of the world here. You're on top of the world feeling really good. And the reason why is because People are noticing what you're doing or what you have done, what you've accomplished. So this is about, to me, an accomplishment. After all this stress, after all of this mess, something really good comes from it that you're not expecting. All right, how do you feel? <clears throat> feel like the Knight of Swords... You're feeling like there's nothing you can do right now in a in a pretty tense situation, one that requires like a lot of balance, um, steady movements to not cause any uproar. I mean, like there's something I'm you're walking on eggshells about something, and you're staying up at night. You're worrying about this. Hmm. But look, it's not all doom and gloom. And you have the stars right there. So there is a sliver of what you feel like is hopeful. But I'm telling you, that's why the three of wands, you're feeling like nothing's going to come. This is what's coming, though. That's why I'm like, you, you're being, you're really fooling yourself. And you're worrying too much. You're dwelling on something. This might be, um, it could be like depression or anxiety. But don't, just because I say that doesn't mean... If you don't fit into that, then you don't fit with those. You could just be worrying. You could be feeling like my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about this. Okay. The environment around you is good news coming. Your, your stuff's all good. So you have good news coming around you. This is a message, be it a package, a letter, a phone call. There's some kind of communication coming in that's going to let you know something has moved forward and it's really big and it's passionate and do you want to come type of energy. That's a passionate new beginning too. This could be in love. Look at all these new beginnings or there's a lot of children in the mix here. It could be children, fire sign and children, earth signs. I think this is really good news though. Coming in. Look, because you have mastered your emotions and you've let go of the past. So, ta-da, that brings in success for you. So, hope and fear. The new adventure, the fool, the new adventure. It, it, that is the hope and the fear, towards because that's just how it is with Taurus, and that's all right. This could be an Aries. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... Yeah, I think this is asking you to dig deep and find that rebel within because I think something's coming out that has to do with that, with your fresh start. <laughs> it's because you can feel it coming in too, but it's something that is just something that when it comes the way it's like the way it's packaged or something, it's just totally a um, surprise. Okay, the outcome for Taurus. Taurus, what a good reading. I haven't had too great of readings for you in the last don't know, a week, two weeks, they haven't been that great. They've been kind of, I don't know, a few weeks ago they were like overworking and stuff like that. So I guess now this is just super good news because this is about all that stress and all the stuff that you did do paying off. Look at that. You're going to end up going through transformation, a great change, major arcana, major arcana conditioning, two major arcana for your outcome. Change, major transformation major spiral of transformation as a jet is passing over. Flying high in the sky. Um, 
the conditioning card here, this is about realizing it's the moment where you realize how strong, courageous, and brave you are and were, and that you're not part of the flock. You were never meant to be part of the flock. Um, in fact, they are all dressed up too. They just don't realize it either. <laughs> like, that's how I look at this, is that you're conditioned, but you're just one of the many. That, that's why they all look the same. But it's a farce. You are the strong lion, the Leo present. Look, we got the two wild cats up here, tiger and lion. It's great. All right, so um, Taurus, that's what I've got for you. Uh, let's end with the angel number message. And thank you for joining me. I hope you, you liked your reading. I really like these cards, so I'm going to use them for a little while, I think. They're really nice, and they have a lot of different messages in them. I saw eight, but it just didn't come out. Fifteen. Three fives. Your love for others is powerful, and you are able to spread your gift far and wide. It says use your wisdom, your words of wisdom, to benefit others somehow. So use your wisdom, wisdom your words of wisdom, to benefit others. Maybe like a teacher energy. Teacher. And then we have 29. I don't usually get this one. Um, you are highly intuitive and creative. It says you draw ideas out of the sky. Um, seem to a powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. 29. I am insightful. Which is probably what's helping that change come on down for you. All right. Thanks, Taurus. The new love and light. Bye-bye.